In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and work on RASMOL. RASMOL is a molecular graphics program used for the visualization of proteins, nucleic acids and other smaller molecules. First, I'll show you on how to install RASMOL. Go to the internet and type RASMOL. Rasmol is a very easy and free to download software. Go to the Rasmol link and here we have the link to download the Rasmol. I have already installed the Rasmol software at my desktop and the software gets saved as Raswin. When you open it, this is the window of Rasmol which gets opened along with the command line box. In the command line box, we type commands to work with the molecule. In Rasmol, we have various options such as file, edit, display, colors and etc. which we will be seeing later. Now, to input a molecule, Rasmol reads .pdb files to visualize the molecules. So, go to the internet and type pdb, which is protein data bank. Here, in the search option, we can type our desired molecule to be visualized. In this video, I am going to take the protein called as cytochrome 450. This cytochrome P450 are proteins containing heme as a cofactor and are therefore called as the heme proteins. They use a variety of small and large molecules as substrates in the enzymatic reactions. In the protein, the term P450 is derived from the spectrophotometric peak at the wavelength of 450 nanometer when it is in the reduced state and complexed with carbon monoxide. So, I am going to take the protein. When you select it, here in the right side, we have an option called as download files. Select and we have to download it in the PDB format. Now, to view your molecule, go to Rasmol. Go to file. Open and select the cytochrome P450 molecule. So now this is the three dimensional structure of the cytochrome P450 molecule. We can also directly open the molecule just by Clicking the downloaded file and it gets opened in Rasmol. So this is the structure. Next, I'll show you on how to work or operate with the molecule. First, to rotate a molecule, click the left mouse button and rotate. Next, to move the position of a molecule, click the right mouse button and move. For zoom in and out, hold the Alt and the Shift key and move the mouse forward and backward simultaneously for zooming in and out. While here, when you zoom in, the in the active site of the cytochrome P450, it contains a heme ion center. And this ion is tethered to the protein via a cysteine thiolate ligand. Now zoom out. And next, for Z rotation, hold the Alt and Shift key. 
and click the right mouse button and rotate. This is the Z rotation. Now, if you want to reset the molecule to its default position, in the command line box, type reset. And here, the molecule gets back into its default position. Here, when you open the file directly, in the command line box, we get several information about the protein such as its classification, secondary structure, database code, the number of chains, the number of atoms, helix, strands, turns, etc. Next, you can change the representation of a molecule. Go to display and here we have various displays such as wireframe, backbone, sticks, space fill, balls and sticks etc. So click the display which you want. For example, balls and sticks or strands. So anything which you want to visualize your molecule. We can even change the color of the background. Go to the command line box and here type background and this decide color which you want maybe blue and here the background gets changed into blue color by changing the display and color it helps in better understanding of the molecular structures in this structure there will be some non-protein molecules also. In order to identify those, go to the command line box and type select not protein. Click enter and here it is given that in cytochrome P450 protein there are 59 molecules that are non-protein. So, in order to distinguish or identify them in the display, type a form which you want, maybe space fill. So, here these are the non-protein molecules. In RASMOL tool, we can determine the distance, angle and torsion between the molecules. So, let me reopen the molecule and change into a simple representation such as balls and stick for easy determination. So we can zoom in. Now for the distance go to the settings and here select pick distance and click any two molecules to determine the distance between them. So here the distance between those two molecules are displayed. Similarly for angle go to settings select pick angle and select any three molecules. Here the angle between those three molecules are displayed. Similar procedure is done for torsion. Go to settings and pick torsion. We have to select four molecules. So here the torsion value is given. We can see the result of the distance, angle and the torsion together here in the command line box where this is the torsion value, the angle and the distance. Next, if you select an individual molecule here in the command line box we can know about the individual atom or the molecule. 
if you want to label the whole protein then go to the command line box and type label so we can see that all the atoms are labeled of the cytochrome p40 protein then zoom in and see the labeled ones at last if you want to close a pdb file go to the command line box and type zap so totally it gets closed so this is all about working with the protein cytochrome p450 using rasmol thank you